Jackie Doyle Price. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. And it's a pleasure to follow the Honourable Lady, with whom I serve as co chairman of the All Party Group on Women in the Penal System. And it's very striking that we're here in this debate because so many women who end up in the criminal justice system are themselves victims of abuse. And it's a reminder of how often the state fails these women. And, and that's why I'd just like to start by saying that, you know, we are talking about victims of very serious crime here. And it disappoints me that this is an issue which we've been aware about for some time. We've had some very high profile cases which have taken years to bring to justice. And yet we are forced to have this debate by the Petitions Committee and it's at the fag end of a parliamentary day. I think, you know, again, girls are at the back of the queue uh, when it comes to this and, you know, victims of sexual crimes really are not getting the, the attentions uh, that they deserve. And I think we really need to turbocharge everything that we're doing in this space so that women and girls will recognise that the state does take sexual abuse seriously and it will make them then more prepared to come forward because we know that some of the victims of these crimes, their perpetrators have been getting away with this for years and they are still at large because when people do bring this to, to the attention of the authorities, we've seen it too often. They look the other way. It's all too difficult. And if we are not seen in this place to be taking it seriously, we cannot expect the rest of society to do so. So I'm very grateful to have this opportunity. But I have to say I'm very sorry that it's come to this and that we are doing it under these circumstances. And I hope that when we can get this place back to normal, and we do have more parliamentary time, we can give issues like this the, the uh, attention they deserve. I'd also really like to pay tribute to the Honourable M Member for Rotherham, who has really you know, been championed by name and nature in the way that she's taken on this, this subject. And uh, I really uh, commend her determination. You know, and I think it is important. We do know that you know, there are men in every community who view women and girls as objects of sexual gratification, and that is something that we should always root out. But we need especially not to let cultural sensitivities get in the way of that. Because I can tell you, we talked about white working class girls today, but just imagine what's happening to the girls in those communities if we don't tackle it. Things like forced marriage. We know that children are brought over from other countries to marry their relatives with horrendous consequences, not just for the fact that they're forced into relationships without their consent. The children that the, 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 the uh, output of this marriage often have huge problems. So we must not, it's, it's for the welfare of everybody involved. We really must be honest about tackling some of these issues. And I tell you what, if we don't, other people will, with a much more sinister motive than us. We need to be working with these communities. We need to be changing attitudes. We need to be tackling those patriarchal influences that are making our women and girls victims of organised criminal activity. But we will only do that by engaging with communities. We certainly won't do it by pretending that it doesn't happen. Now, I'm very pleased that my honourable friend, who's the minister, I know she takes it very seriously, and I'm sure she'd be preferring that this debate was going to be longer too. And I can say to her very sincerely that I look forward very much to working with her to make sure that we do give these attentions, the, the, the subject, the attention it deserves. And I just wanted to finally end with a, with a plea. Can we, now that we've finally got relationships and sex education as part of the curriculum, properly look at the tools that we are giving to educate girls that actually consent is theirs to give and it's not to be expected? Thank you.